Hi there everybody, it's Helen from Slim and Stylish and I'm a Stamping Up UK independent demonstrator. Thank you for joining me today. Today I have one of the most simplest cards I think that I've ever done and it's this one in Calypso Coral and it says Best Friends and it's gorgeous. It is using the new Happy Wishes Celebration stamp set. I'm biased in the celebration. I love this set. There are a few that I've picked up and been like, that's going to be my favourite, that's going to be my favourite. But I've come to an ultimate decision that Happy Wishes is my most favourite. And that's because it's so versatile, I can use it for anything. There is so many sayings in here and it's in a gorgeous font. So it's got birthday, wishing you a day, you make me so, anniversary and B. So they will all fit with happy. And here you've got friends for you, you are the wishes, hope you have the, I love having a, sending my very friend like you, and it goes with best. So I've used it for this one, which is best friends. And what I've done is I have just took a piece of Calypso Coral. This is how easy and simple this is. I've already scored it, so it should bend quite easily for me. If you ever watch my time lapses and think she doesn't score her card, she just folds it and burnishes it. I always pre-score it as soon as I cut it, so they are pre-scored. And there I take my cake saray, no, sweet saray. It goes with the cake saray stamp set paper. So I've used this one, which is the Calypso Coral one, and I am just going to stick this on the bottom here. So if I've got, I haven't got my snail handy, I'm just going to fuse it. But you can snail it because it's DSP. I'm just going to put that on there. I think that's the way around it should go because leaves grow upwards. I, I know that bit. <laughs> I get the hang of the way leaves grow. Right, and my scissors. Okay, and then I've just got a piece of black card. And I have got a piece of white card that just sits inside it like that. Okay, I'm actually going to just chop a little bit off the edge of that. In fact, I'm going to use my trimmer so it's, it's smart because I've got the ribbon at the side. I forgot that when I was cutting it. You want to allow for the ribbon. So this one is, it will be three and three quarter inches by... Uh, two and a half inches and the black piece is four and one eighth of an inch by two and three quarters of an inch okay so that will now oh that's it on there yes yeah, so that will give me room then for my my ribbon to go on the side so I'm going to use the happy with this one I'm just going to straighten it up actually help it straight on my block and I'm going to get the B and this might seem really strange but out of all of them that are on this set all of those hundreds B happy is actually my favorite one that it does I think that is great you can use it for birthdays you can use it for thank yous you can use it for anything and it's just a happy saying so get that inked up stamping pretty hard on that I think my memento needs re-inking so that's why I'm stamping it so I'm going to put the happy on just there probably in completely the wrong place because I it is the wrong place I'm going to turn that around we're going to pretend like you really didn't see me do that I want my happy towards the bottom I was looking at best and thinking friends has got to fit underneath it but I'm doing be happy I need my bee on top so there's my happy and there is my, check that's the right way around, B, B happy. Love it. Absolutely love it. I think I've just scagged that as I cut it, so I'm just going to side of that. Made that quite neat. There we go. And then what I did is I just grabbed my blends. I only did it in a few colours, so I used the yellow, Daffodil Delight, sorry. Old olive, and of course I use the Calypso Coral because it's going on to the Calypso Coral cardstock. I find the Calypso Coral quite confusing with this because 
I think it, the lids look pink. I don't know if yours do or whether it's just because mine's kept by the window. Actually, I haven't got any sun, have we, to, to taint it at the moment. So I'm going to come through and I'm just going to pick up random flowers and ignore the fact I've got all of the colours out. I am just using the lights of each one. So I want this to be quite pastely. I don't want it to be really detailed in on the colouring because this is a quick, easy stamp set. I'm going to do a quick, easy colouring tutorial, I suppose. I'm going to go up there. Got one poking up on there. There we go. Um, what do you do? And shall do you. I think I used cherry cobbler on the other one as well, just to give it a bit of pop. I did, so I'll get my cherry cobbler out as well. I have two plastic drawers at the side of my desk that I keep my um, blends in. They're really handy, actually. I'll show you. They are the perfect size for blends. So oh, everything fell because I moved the drawers. These are them, and my blends just fit in quite nicely but you as you can guess because they fit in two drawers whenever I want a colour I always end up going in the wrong drawer it's because I'm not organised I don't put them back as I've took them out I just throw them back in any drawer so I never know which is in which drawer so um, do -do -do -do, you're a little flower at the edge there let's get you and you and you yellow get the right end of the pen might help it is so cute isn't it it's really really cute how they've they've done this Another flower there that I've missed. So let's just. And this would work quite well actually with your blender pens. Be all right with your blender pens on this. As I'm going through, I've realised I've missed quite a few flowers, so I'm coming back. Um, I think I'll come back and do them with the red. So. Miss that one there. Miss that one there. And I've missed one up there, which is going to have to be the yellow because it's next to a red flower already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the yellow now through where all the spots are on the happy. And that's that all completely coloured in. Now the ribbon that I used was Celebration ribbon as well. So in the Celebration catalogue you can get three ribbons, which are these ones. This is the Calypso Coral one and it's really shimmery. I don't know whether you can see the metallic look on that. But there's also a soft um, slade one and a Bermuda Bay. And all different widths so that's quite handy now the way I did the ribbon at the side here is I just put some fuse along this edge here like that so there was a whole width of fuse and then I just started off with my ribbon kind of like that and push that into the fuse at the top Okay, so what you do is you bring your ribbon all the way down like that, stick it to your fuse and then take it back probably about a centimetre and then do it again, stick it down and take it back. So it looks like a flake bar really. So you've got all of these these whispers. See, 
anything to me looks like chocolate. I'm trying to be really, really good after Christmas. So you've kind of got it like that. And then just put a bit of fuse at the end here. So that when you go back on it, you've got a bit to stick it on. Okay. Chop that off the edge there. Come back and chop that bit off the edge. There, and then just to stick that bit down, you just want another piece of fuse on that bit there and stick that down there. To neaten this up because you want to put it flat, just put some fuse in those spoil bits there so that they're not resting too high. You don't want it to be too popped up on your card, you want it a little popped up, not a lot. And then you just stick that onto there using dimensionals. I learned that technique at, um, I was going to say on stage, it was on stage, but it wasn't um, at our on stage. When you go to your local on stage, they link in from the main on stage, which was in America, when it wasn't Salt Lake City. Is that America? I don't know. Salt Lake City, though, over there. And um, they linked in and they presented that for us. So the lady on there showed us how to do it. Brandy from Stamping Up. I thought as she did it, that's quite clever. I'll remember that. I did. And I, actually, she used it on the same set, so I suppose I'm completely copying her. There we go. Right, so then you just stick that on your card. Nice and simple, use your fuse. What if it's going to go? There we go, straight in the middle there. I've got some rhinestones, I should have some rhinestones, there we are. And I should have a paper piercer somewhere too. There we are. And I just put two on either side here so it looked like um, a trim and it separated the coral from the coral a bit because it was looking a bit a bit corally. There we go. And then all I did was just did myself a little ribbon. I am finding tying ribbons that aren't on the card so much easier than when you have to tie them on the card recently. <laughs> so I'm trying to find any excuse to not put them on the card unless I've, I've pre-bowed them. So let's just grab some fuse and put it in that corner, just there. Stick that on. And there we go. Be happy and best friends. But what is great about this set is you can have a whole mixture of these cards. So I've just made some flash cards for one of my events and I haven't coloured them in, but it gives you all of the sentiments. So instead of be happy, you can have you make me so happy. You can have best friends, best birthday, best day, best anniversary. Happy for you. I love having a best friend like you, sending my very best, sending my very best wishes, hope you have the best birthday, hope you have the best anniversary, best wishes for you, you are the best, best day, happy day, wishing you a happy birthday, wishing you a happy anniversary, best wishes and be best. How many? I mean, there's more that you could probably get. There's hundreds of the ways you could do this. But you could do a whole set of cards like this, just using this designer series paper. Make these up. And then all you have to do whenever you come up to wanting a card, colour it in, stick it on. How simple, how easy. Such a versatile set. And there's happy wishes for you from Celebration and it's the level two stamp set. So there you go and thanks for joining me and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.